Hi, today we're going to have a go at this. <laughs> It's the introduction to Music in Dreamland by Bebop Deluxe. It comes off the Futurama LP. It's early on in their career, but you can already hear Bill Nelson's fabulous guitar technique coming through. And why it's important as a piece is because it illustrates some of the things which are to come. They've got some really basic things which Bill Nelson uses over and over and over again. That's why I think you might find this tiny little tutorial quite interesting. So let's take it to pieces, bit by bit, and show you how to play the introduction to Music in Dreamland by Bebop Deluxe. The, the first thing to say about this is that it's in D flat, um, which is um, awkward, um, but the reason for it is because there's a brass band that comes in later, uh, and it puts them in a more comfortable key compared to us poor guitarists who have to hang around in this more difficult key. Uh, but the three chords which go underneath the introduction um, are simply D flat, E flat, and G flat, and then back to D flat, and that's repeated twice. Obviously, on the recording on Futurama, Bill Nelson uses a huge amount of effects. He uses distortion, probably a phaser as well, and so it all gets very confusing. So what I've done is I've taken all that off, and all you can hear is the pew notes, and hopefully you'll be able to get it from this. Bear with me on this; it's going to take a couple of minutes to go through because uh, it's quite confusing on the first couple of times through. And then you go, ah, that's the pattern. That's all it is. Okay, stay with me. Um, the notes that you're gonna need are just a pentatonic, really, uh, here at the sixth fret. fret. Six, six on one or two, and then nine, second, eight on the third, um, six on the third, eight on the fourth, six on the fourth, eight on the fifth, six on the fifth, and then your D flat, and uh, at the fourth fret of the fifth string. They are all the notes in that little triplet introduction. Believe me, that's all it is. Everything else is um, rhythm and um, feel, really. And pattern as well. And the pattern is really important. It starts on a slide up from the E to the, to the F here. So uh, you can you can bend if you want there on the third string, but I think you just make a trouble for yourself if you do that. But it, start, it starts like this. upwards, six, six, ninth on the second, cross over to the eighth of the third, back to the uh, sixth of the second string, across to the six on the third, up to the eighth, cross over to the eighth of the fourth, back, back to the sixth on the third, cross over to the sixth of the fourth, back up to the eighth, cross over to the eighth of the fifth, cross over, back again to the um, sixth of the fourth, cross over to the sixth of the fifth, back up to the eighth of the fifth, and then you go to the, the six there. there, okay, the um, fourth fret on the fifth string. So let's just to prove it, watch. Yeah? 
That's all it is. Work on the feel, work on the triplets, and work on your speed, and suddenly you'll get it. Have a go. Uh, there is a run-up which finishes the, the, the second part of the solo. Um, and uh, it's basically it's a D flat major scale started on G flat here. So in the um, the ninth fret of the fifth string. So the notes you're going to need is this. And we end on the B flat at the top. Um, so it's ninth of the fifth, and then uh, fourth is six, eight, ten. Third string is six, eight. Uh, second string is six, seven, nine. And the uh, first string is six, uh, eight, nine. E flat we get here on the eleventh fret. And it's 13, 14, 16, 18, 18. The, the easy way to play this is to think about it is in one set of three and then three sets of five and uh, and then a set of three and we'll see it and then the ending um, the easy way to think the easy way to think about it is you go one, that's your three so so I've ended up here on my B flat then you start from there but you sort of miss out the first note of a six. Um, a six note pattern. So you go, <gasps> right? It's like a breath. And now you start from here, which is the E flat. You go, <gasps> and now you start from here, the A flat. Take a breath. <gasps> Triplet. Repeating that last bit. Then. So it sounds like this. Phew, there you go. But much faster, obviously. Uh, the hard way to play this uh, is actually a bit more true to what he's really doing. Um, he actually does a five, a very, very, very quick five in that, that first lot. Like that. It's very, very fast. Yeah? But you can content yourself with just that. Uh, That's the run-up, the easy way and the hard way. So slowed down, the two bits of the solo sound like this. side of it as well, uh, which I won't play, but they're just the same notes. And if you can get that, you pretty much work the whole thing out.